Hello, my name is Benny, and I like hanging out in the garage. So, lots going on the last couple weeks. I haven't got a video out, and a few people have let me know that. We got stuff going on. There's work stuff, there's home stuff, there's holiday stuff, and sometimes things like this just slip through the cracks. One of the projects I have going on is a Christmas present. It's a double-sided backgammon board. This is for part of an act that Joan does. Uh, currently, she just has a black surface, but she wanted one that looks like a backgammon board. And so I made it out of two pieces of plexiglass with the graphics uh, sandwiched in between. I was gonna do it out of wood laminate that I ordered, but the wood didn't get here in time before Christmas. A friend at work suggested, hey, why don't you do like a vinyl? And there is some really good quality textured wood vinyl that you can get. So I drew up some triangles, put it in the creek cut, made the pieces, put it together, sandwich that between a quarter inch, dark plexiglass, and then the top is like, I don't know, at least half of that, maybe like an eighth inch clear, and then I did a little vinyl edging on it. I think it turned out really nice. Here's how that went. The quarter inch plexiglass, the blade worked really well, keeping the blade moving fast, but the saw moving slow. There was no chip, no blowout. Everything cut really nice and smooth. Look at that perfect corner. Another project I've been working on is decorating Joan's suitcases because every pink suitcase in the airport looks exactly alike. So I pieced together a graphic on the computer. I cut it out with some vinyl on the creek cut, put it on a suitcase, spray painted it. Not a terribly hard project, but, you know, it's time consuming, especially picking out all the little parts of the stencil and whatnot. I think it turned out great, and I did it twice. In the midst of these other projects, this happened. I guess you just can't get 19 years out of a dryer anymore. I'm not gonna show you the wide shot of my laundry room behind the dryer, but wow. I'm going to take this time to do an Uncle Benny's Garage cool tool tip. This is an 8-inch Crescent wrench made by, you guessed it, Crescent, the actual company. It's fantastic. You know I love multi-tools. I, I use mine constantly, all day long, for everything, at work, at home, you name it. There is not anything that the multi-tool can't do. This wrench is a multi-tool of its own. You can open it all the way to where this piece comes off, you turn it around and it becomes a pipe wrench. Oh yeah, so if you're just grabbing a couple tools and wiggling yourself into a space that you don't wanna come out of, having that pipe wrench really comes in handy. Also on the other end is a ratchety and it's pretty heavy duty and it comes with this row of sockets. It doesn't come with this rail, but these sockets are these weird little castle kind of a thing. So for instance, this one is 19 30 seconds size or 15 millimeter and it pops in there and 
they're hollow. So you can use them kind of like deep sockets if you're working something off or whatever. So you grab this wrench and the sockets and you're set for most things. There you go. Okay, I don't know where to look. I know where the camera is on the phone, but I I always look, I'm looking at the screen, I'm looking at the camera, I'm looking at the screen, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. But I'm getting ahead of myself here because in the same night, this happened. Either one appliance breaks, I'll try to fix it. But both of them breaking on the same night, I was like, screw it, it's Christmas, we're going shopping. All right, I'm gonna show you what happened to the dishwasher and this might be a little bit of a rant. So the heating element warped into a big oval shape and melted through the bottom of the tub. I don't know how long this has been going on. You don't really see it with the rack in there. Uh, I will tell you this. It, the heating element, it didn't get yanked on. The holders are still perfectly fine. It didn't get pulled, pushed, squished. I, I pushed it back into the round shape and it's actually pretty hard to move. Uh, I'm gonna guess this is a manufacturing default um, on Frigidaire's part um, because they probably just bent the thing and then every time it heats up, it probably deforms just a little bit. And then this is what happens. Um, that's why car fenders are made with like a billion tons of pressure press. It's so there's no residual tension in the parts to start moving around. So thanks Frigidaire. Good job. Nice hustle. There's so much broken glass under here. What, what's, how many glasses do we break? Are there Greek weddings going on when we're not home? Well, I, I don't get it. Well, there she is. Don't mind that cabinet that I still haven't finished. I'm gonna wait for her to pull the protective film off. I know how much she loves that. There's other things going on too. Hello. No, this is not my garage. I'm just helping a friend buy tires. It's cold, it's rainy. I miss my garage. Warm, comfy, stuff to do. Wait, we should back up again. So the buzzer on the new dryer is so ridiculously loud. It's louder than a smoke alarm. It's louder than anything. It's crazy and you can't turn it down. So I took the adjustable one off of the old dryer and I uh, wired it into this one. I uh, hope that doesn't void the warranty, but it's so much nicer now. All right, let's go backgammon to the backgammon board. Now the eighth inch plexiglass, uh, I started using the saw and it started these tiny little micro cracks and I didn't want to risk ruining the whole piece. So I did that one with a cutoff wheel and it just slowly sort of milk cutted, cut, cutted. It just slowly sort of cut, melted right through it and then I just sanded it smooth. Now the part where I was putting the vinyl on, uh, I didn't have the camera going. Sorry about that. Uh, but I can recreate that for you now. Vinyl. Nice little wood texture. Sticky. There you go.
Hey everybody, I hope you had a great holiday season. I hope you're looking forward to the new year. We got big things planned for Uncle Benny's garage. Thanks for watching. All the holiday projects, the other dumb stuff. We're getting through it and we're gonna move on to some good stuff. Hey, a couple Uncle Benny's garage upgrades for the new year. I got a new microphone. This is the first video with it, so we'll see how it works. If I get 100 subscribers ever, I'll look into a new camera. Oh yeah. Hey look, it's a stackable washer dryer.